Hi, my name is Patrick Montgomery, and this is my NCAA 530 Ethics and Sports presentation uh, on accountability. Now, accountability is something that coaches and athletes both must have. Um, according to Merriam-Webster's dictionary, accountability is the quality or state of being accountable. Now, when we sit back and we look at that, it has two different meanings. One is for the coach, uh, being accountable for his actions and to his other coaches and to his players, the administration and the school. And then you also have accountability for your athletes. And, and the athlete accountability is probably the biggest aspect that we focus on. Um, as educators and coaches, we constantly preach to our programs about accountability. Um, and accountability is something that we have to set as a foundation for our programs. Now, for a lot of people, when it comes to the quality characteristics of creating a great program, accountability is at the forefront. I know in my baseball program where I'm the head coach and as a defense coordinator in the football program at Delaware Hayes High School where I teach and coach at, we hold our athletes accountable for their actions, what they do on the field, uh, as well as in the classroom. Now, as coaches, we are also held accountable for what we do on the field, in the classroom, and to our players. Now, each one of those is a little bit separate. Lenny Wilkins, uh, a former NBA head coach, said that the most important quality I look for in a player is accountability. Without that, the player doesn't bring anything larger into perspective. Accountability is who you are. Um, it's easy to blame something on someone else and, and not take ownership for it. And accountability brings that ownership into perspective. You know, when you point the finger at someone else, there's always three fingers pointing back at you. And that's where accountability really plays in. Taking responsibility for your own actions, um, for what you do in practice, what you do in games, how you carry yourself, and how you model your program. Um, many times responsibility and accountability get mixed together um, and they can kind of present themselves as one and the same, but they are two completely different uh, quality characteristics. Accountability is what makes responsibility happen. Without accountability, responsibility would not be a thing. So we have to make sure that we are following through on accountability and keeping our athletes responsible for what they're doing. One of the great things Pat Summit, a legendary uh, Tennessee Lady Volunteers basketball coach said is you must own it. And this is something that we preach to our players every day in my program. Um, they have to take ownership for their actions. You know, before a season starts, Accountability is a must. You know, academic eligibility is one thing that we hold players accountable for. We need to make sure that these players are holding up their end of the bargain in the classroom. If they are not, then they were deemed academically ineligible, and they are not accountable for their actions. They're not allowed to play. Accountability also comes into play when it comes to rules that they have to follow to be part of the program. In both programs, I'm part of the football and baseball program at Delaware Hayes, we hold our student athletes to the highest accountability. They have to sign a student academic um, conduct form. And in this form, there are certain rules and guidelines in which they must follow um, and that they are accountable for. If the athletes do not complete or fulfill these tasks, then they are held responsible for that. Um, you know, one, we, we hold this very very strict, and in our programs, we usually hold it even to a higher standard of accountability, um, where if any of these rules are deemed to be broken, um, then there are consequences for it, and the players understand that. Um, but the accountability for our players is known before they ever start in the program. And that's something that they have to understand as they try out or they come, come to the sport. Um, they have to know what their expectations are, what their role on the team is going to be, and how we are going to hold them accountable for their actions. Every action has a consequence, um, positive or negative. And the athletes know this, and that's why they are accountable for what they do. Accountability day-to-day -day as an athlete. Know your strengths and weaknesses. Each athlete is different. Each athlete has their own strengths, has their own weaknesses, and they need to foster to that. They have to be able to accept criticism and 
be held accountable for what they do while they are on the playing field, in practice, and in the classroom. They need to be trustworthy and dependable. Um, they need to do what they're going to say they're going to do, and they need to be held accountable for that. Uh, if an athlete misses practice, they need to communicate with the coach well beforehand. They can't just rely on another athlete to tell that coach that they're not going to be there. They need to be responsible and accountable and notify the coach well beforehand. Um, be a problem solver is a huge aspect of accountability. Don't allow a problem to exist. Be that person on the team that goes in and helps solve a dilemma or a problem instead of allowing it to continue to happen. And take the initiative. If you want a, a leader in your program, you need them to be accountable for what they're doing in their actions and making sure everyone else on the program is doing the same. You know, a movie clip that I had in my PowerPoint presentation uh, was from the movie Rudy. And in this clip, um, Era Parsegian, the, the former head coach, while Rudy was there as a walk-on football player, told him that he would dress for one game his senior year. And based on the limitations that the NCAA gives for athletes and how many can dress for home football games, Rudy waited his turn. Well, as Dan Devine, a new head coach, comes in, he doesn't hold up that responsibility that a coach has when it comes to accountability. But the senior leadership on that team shows the strength of accountability within the unit. And they all go in and they start turning in their uniforms for Rudy. And they want him to dress in their place because they understand that promise that was given by the former head coach needs to be upheld because they need to be held accountable for what they're doing. You know, uh, someone in sports today that I believe shows accountability um, day to day as a head coach is Greg Popovich. He, he never puts criticism on his athletes and he always accepts the accountability for what they're doing. Day-to-day -day accountability for a coach needs to lead with respect, and that's the most important thing. You need to give respect, and you also need to earn respect from your players. Um, set and follow through on all expectations, and model the behavior that you want. If you want your players to be accountable for their actions, you as well need to be accountable for your actions as a head coach, because you're setting an exemplar model for them to follow. If you do not follow through with your actions, then you cannot expect your players to do the same thing. You need to hold yourself to the highest accountability because if you're holding yourself to a highest accountability, then your players will guarantee to follow you. Um, and that's what it comes down to with accountability. Leading by example, having your players follow your direction and setting a course and setting a culture in which your players will follow and do the same because they see what great leadership's about.